it's Memorial Weekend 2019. And Memorial Day is traditionally for honoring our fallen armed forces members, our military members. But it's also becoming more and more of a uh, weekend and a day to also remember our uh, first responders, our police officers, our correctional officers, and firemen, and EMT. And there's a lot of events that go on on weekend, uh, events that will go on for Memorial Day weekend in honor not only of our military, which we need to be thankful for, but also for our law enforcement and corrections and so forth. Hi, I'm Gary York, True Prison Stories. Please subscribe if you like this video. Today, my wife and I ran in a uh, Gone But Not Forgotten Remember Our Heroes uh, 3.1 mile run, a 5K run, sponsored by the Lakeland Police Department in Florida. And uh, it was for military, and it was for police, it was cor for corrections, it was for, for any first responders. And it was really a nice event, and the money that is used for your entry fee is all donated towards um, the uh, law enforcement memorial, the canine memorial. Some of it's going to go to the local canine memorial. So um, Memorial Day is is traditionally for our armed forces people but it's becoming more and more for all of our forgotten heroes in the united states and uh my wife and i ran on behalf of corrections today on the uh on your number below it says write in the name of the officer that you're running for and uh my wife ran for correctional officer donna fitzgerald in the state of florida a 14-year veteran from Tomoka Correctional Institution who was attacked on June 25, 2008 by an inmate who was hiding in a shed with a shank, a homemade knife. And the inmate attacked Officer Fitzgerald, stabbed her, and killed her. And we want to remember her, a 14-year veteran. It could have been any one of us. And I'm going to tell you something that really boils me. You'll hear me on a lot of my videos talking about corruption. And that is why I talk about it. Why would any officer or person that works in a prison give an inmate contraband? It just burns me up. You don't know what that inmate's going to do with that contraband. Get high and kill somebody or take the weapon that you smuggled in for them and kill somebody or take the tools you smuggled in for them and escape and kill somebody it just burns me up but today is about remembering remembering um the fallen officers um and also uh, i ran for uh, correction officer tawana marine a nine-year veteran of south florida reception center in florida who was killed in coconut grove june of 2018 june 18 2018 she was supervising an inmate work crew and a vehicle hit her and pinned her against a dump truck. Just sad events and there's so many. It's a weekend, please, to just take a moment, pray silently to yourself, uh, pray that the rest of our officers and, and first responders and our military personnel can all finish their watch safely. It is a um, it's it's a happy weekend, of course. People are going to be out there barbecuing and grilling, and I think a lot of people just enjoy that Monday off and don't really think about what it's for. It's a long weekend for many, and they're going to grill and be happy and party, and I don't think they're stopping to smell the roses for just a, a moment even, just to thank all of our fallen military veterans, all of our first responders, everyone involved in saving lives and protecting lives in the United States. I think that we need more events. Uh, I want to see more correctional officer memorial runs. I want to see more correctional officer memorial events. Uh, fundraisers. Let the money go. You go out and run your 3.1 miles and, and and let's use that money for the corrections memorial. Let's let's get some of these things going. Um, 
like the uh, local police departments do, like our military. And um, everyone, please be safe and please take a moment to thank a veteran this weekend. Please take a moment to thank a first responder. I'm talking about anybody who saves lives, who stands between the dangerous elements and society, who EMT, firefighters, police officers, deputy sheriffs, correctional officers, uh, security personnel at events that you'll be at this Memorial Weekend. They don't have to be in uniform. They're still there for you. Thank you. Take time to remember what Memorial Weekend is all about. Memorial Day weekend. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe to Prison Stories.